How about now? Yes! Yes! We did it! We are champions! We are the fucking champions! Oh gosh, two seconds into the stream and I'm already swearing. Woo, tonight is gonna be a good night! Let me lower the volume here. So I can take a look at you. Hello there! It is good to see you! I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Um, for all my fellow streamers out there, um, is it OBS? Is it me being clumsy? <laughs> Probably. Is it NVIDIA Broadcast? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes I my desktop audio falls away and my mic is not recognized it's um it's weird and i i, I can't remember that obs had the had this update um a week ago i'm not sure but um i'm afraid it's related <laughs> but anyway here we are um Really exciting for uh, today's stream. I've been kind of looking forward to it all day. Because um, it's going to be a fun one, guys. I mean, enough with the seriousness for now. We're going to do um, a bit of VFR flying. Yes. Uh, but not just uh, VFR. We are going to take, um, let me show you and um, let me tell you at the same time, let's take a, a look here, here we go, this tab, into it, coming up right now, righty, so here we are. It's um I've been looking around because um, if you can remember last week's stream we landed at Milan so initially thought well that this might be the last stream for Italy guys but um, we can go even further up yes we can and we are going towards uh, the Como Lake or Lake Como um, For everyone European in here, for anyone who knows about Italy, you cannot mention Italy without mentioning Lake Como, guys. It is such an iconic place. Um, I wish, I hope, and I have my fingers crossed that I can, you know, at some point in my life visit that place. Because, um, I mean, uh, we got James Bond movies, basically, you know, so many Hollywood blockbuster movies have been recorded in some sort of villa that was, you know, situated on the banks of Lake Como. You've got the boats, you got a mild climate, you got the Alps straight at your feet. Um, what's not to love? But then I was like, all right, so we're gonna fly into Lake Como, but are we going to do that with the stock scenery from the sim? No, we're not. No, we're not. We're taking a look around the interwebs here, and we came up with this right here. Um, offflightmods.com and um, first of all all the mods that we are using in this stream I'm gonna link them up in the description um, if you're on YouTube if you're on Twitch then um, come over to discord and I'll be happy to share the links or you just you know type them into your browser. We got allflightmods.com, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, Como, Alzate, Brianci, Milano, Bresso. Uh, and we are going to fly that the other way around. So we are going to depart from Milano, Bresso, going into Alzate, Brianza. Then we're gonna 
make our way across Coma Lake and finally come back and land at the city of Como. That's the plan. That's what we are going to do. And we are going to do that in style, guys. We are going to fly. <laughs> I'm, I'm way too excited about this. Um, probably you've, you've seen them, but you know, I've been a, a bit AFK to, to um, if I can use that word, <laughs> that abbreviation. Um, there are a lot of mods coming and um, has been coming. The modding community is getting strong and vibrant here, guys. And what we got here is, well, at least you have to know the source flightsim.2 to that's such a good source for free mods yes free mods you don't always have to pay like 20 or 30 dollars for a aircraft sometimes you can just you know download them for free and that's what we are doing here we are downloading the Cessna 172 amphibian that's right um yeah you basically was uh, looking at the slideshow right i mean look at those if that's not guaranteed fun then i don't know what is so we gotta fly this one um definitely gonna do a couple of um landings on the water and um yeah you know have some fun have some fun so, same, here we go. Boom. I wish it was that quick in, uh, <laughs> I was going to say, in real life. But, um, unfortunately not. It, it, it takes a good um, portion of your time to do the loading in this sim. Anyway, world map. Got a flight plan um, set up, which is not here in Africa. Uh, let me know it. Load it. Oh, wow, cool, yeah, because I was screen capturing and not game capturing, but for some reason my game did not get captured, so I had to do screen capture, like, those kind of things. Anyway, now you can see my, my uh, file structure. Yay! We got Twitch, Flight Plans, Eurotrip, and uh, where did I put that? So if you don't know the difference between these two, uh, you can either go with the Flight, that's the FLT, and um, basically what that, that does blah, 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 is, you know, load in the Flight Plan as well as the assigned aircraft or yet you can take the plan here we go it's a, it's a, it, it's a little bit of a it's a bit of a messy part but this is all you know so close to each other that we will not miss out on anything and this is just you know 47 minutes is what the sim is telling us so yeah, we're gonna do a couple of passes. Um, maybe chill out on the water, have a swim. How cool would that be? Um, we got. Wow, is the weather um, turning uh, over Lake Como? When I've done my thumbnails earlier today it was a uh, really nice weather with a few clouds but this looks a bit more serious here we'll see um all players live traffic all the way let's go mm. i'm a bit thirsty though because i had a pizza for dinner oh man Pizza with salmon, tonneau, uh, what else? 
shrimp, onions. Yeah, uh, I had a yes pizza. Pizza. Hey, and how have you been, guys? Who's been um, watching the reveal trailer for Battlefield? Hashtag hype, hashtag hype. <laughs> now, seriously, though, I mean, what can I say? I'm not. First of all, let me say, disclaimer here, I'm not a huge fan of the Battlefield series. Um, tried it a couple of times. I'm more of a Call of Duty guy, but... Um, they always look stunning, right? Nice. Nice. I was hoping we would... Uh, being situated at a parking space, but here we go. Oh, really? Is that a straight on the runway? Okay. Fine. That's all fine. So, uh, yeah, the 172, guys. Wow. Don't fly this too off. Do we have a parking brake set? Here we go. That's, uh, Throttle this. Should just uh, fly like a regular 172, I suppose. Suppose. Using a bit of rudder. Got some. Um, got the side wind here. But here we go. Airborne. Not the best of weather. Wow. Oh, trim. Hello. Would have to catch a lot of altitude. But yeah. Uh, Battlefield. That was chaotic, man. If you haven't seen that trailer, it is bonkers. Wow. Just with this trim. Neutral, okay. Oh. See, that's why you go live weather, guys. How? Nice is that sky right there. I yeah, probably got some uh, laps up. Go. Oh. Still getting used to this uh, switch around of my throttle and my stick on the left side. Instead of the right. Got a rope hanging on the side, so if you... Um, I think that's for when you land on the water next to a... Uh, wow, that's a cool word. How... how to, um... I have no clue how, what's that. What that's called in English? Um, it's a steiger in Dutch. <laughs> but um, yeah. You know the the wooden part of my, uh, on the water when you get out of the boat. That's what I mean. When you hook up your plane to that, you can swing to the. To the mainland with your uh, rope right there. We have one on the left side as well, which actually kinda is a little bit waving in the wind. 
just with uh, like one um, hinge. Mountains, here we come. Here we come. And again, those clouds. Wow, phenomenal. So yeah, that's what you get when approaching the Alps, I guess. I've seen that more often uh, flying over Italy here when we were um, heading up north is that most of these clouds hang around where the mountains are. But they look absolutely phenomenal. So yeah, that's that's game news. Battlefield um, E3 is coming up. The am I getting this date right? The twelfth. I think that's around this weekend. Got some live presentations. Xbox and Bethesda. Take two. Wonder what they got up their sleeves. And um, you know, I, I, uh, I, you know, I, you have to take it with a grain of salt because I know it's Ubisoft, right? And um, Ubisoft is known for making wonderful trailers. You know where I'm heading right now. Talking about Far Cry 6 here. Didn't know what to expect, especially with the first trailer, you know, because that's a announcement teaser trailer, cinematic trailer. You don't have any clue what is uh, what is going to happen. Exactly the same with uh, the last Assassin's Creed. But yeah, after seeing some uh, some gameplay of Far Cry 6, I gotta say, I gotta say, I'm got me excited again. Totally skipped over Far Cry 5. I think that's uh, pretty obvious. Wonder, 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 wonder. Do we have our map? Yes, we have. All right, so yeah, that's probably rip this side. Where is it? I don't know where it is. The first airport. I know. Oh, can we retract those um, landing gears? Let's see. Uh. Oh, these Cessnas, man, they fly so freakishly stable. Like you can uh, put them in the air and then go for a coffee or whatever. Nope, cannot find anything landing gear related. So I think that's it. Above us. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. Um, 
Ja, de, de lag over die Alps. Which um, is making me think of maybe we can uh, organize something where as we create a flight plan with your input. Maybe you can decide where to go next in the Alps. Maybe you've already flown the Alps and have some great recommendations. Of course, we've got Courchevel. And uh, Innsbruck, but th those, you know, those are the are the well-known and popular places to visit. But I'm sure there must be some more hidden secrets out there, and I love to know them. And um, so we can fly them together, you know, on this grand Euro trip. Lovely getting into those mountains. Just a tiny bit off our nav line there, but that's all, you know, that's okay. Is that glacier water right there? I wonder. Seems pretty high as well, though. Does this um, 172 climb that fast? Can we take that? And give it a little bit more throttle. Maybe we can go over. Did you hear that? Looks like we got some thunder in these clouds. Oh dear. It's gonna be interesting. So, on our left is... Um, Already a part of uh, Lake Como right here. But we are going to skip that for now and see if we can um, reach that top. Airspeed is pretty good. Wow, look at that. Oh dear. Carlos, hello there. Hello, hello. Welcome, buddy. Welcome to this um, this little stream we got going. How are you doing? Didn't quite make that at one stretch. <laughs> It's a bit too steep to climb at once. We are here on the, um, the south side of Lake Como, that's um, North Italy. And we got some lightning in these uh, clouds. So, um, 
Interesting. Interesting. I'm trying to get a bit of clearance over these mountains and um, get some altitude. Alright, we're definitely losing some airspeed now. It is stunning, right? I mean, yeah, we're on the um, on the foot of the Alps here, so I mean, the Alps are just the Alps. What can you say, man? It's um, stunning, stunning views. And we are flying this uh, 172 Amphibian, which is a free-to-download mod from FlightSim.2, which um, enables you to land on the water. There you go, there you have the floaters. So we are definitely, oh man, look, can you hear that thunder? So, let's see here, there we go, on our 11 o'clock is where Lake Como is appearing. Look at those beautiful mountains there. Whoa! Yeah, we got some um, gnarly life weather here over Lake Como. So we should either descend a bit. I think we should descend. Because um, we don't gonna wanna, we don't wanna get hit by the lightning, right? I'm gonna take back some of that throttle here. Do you fly as well, Carlos? Are you a flight simmer? Yes, yes, it's ab absolutely completely free. Um, links are actually in the description if you wanna check it out. Nice, right? Some um, some aircraft where you don't have to, you know, lay down twenty or thirty bucks and uh, you know, the good thing is is um, there you know it's a lot there are a lot of um, freeware aircraft mods out there but the good thing is this is just you know the base 172 and they just added some um, some floaters underneath the aircraft which you know, it's not that they build a aircraft from from the ground up and um, 
yeah, I think that's what makes it a good choice. It it, it just flies like your um, like the one seven two that you are used to. Wow! Oh, you actually fly in real life as well. Hello there. What is that? W M K K I. Hello there. Welcome to the stream, my friend. It is good to see you. Welcome over this Lake Como on our um, nine o'clock here. We got some lighting going on. It sounds a bit ominous, but uh, we'll probably be okay. <laughs> See already the snow is coming up right there on those uh, peaks. We're definitely getting into more um, LP, LP, LP territory. You can absolutely say anything. Well, maybe not anything you want, but you could say you could say anything you want. Go, go right ahead. Yeah, sure. Go right ahead. If you have any feedback or any tips or anything to add, you actually bought a Cessna on eBay. Wow. Can I ask you how much does that set you back? Or is that a bit too personal? You know, I'm. You don't have to answer that, of course, but I'm just wondering. I'm curious. I know. Like, I have no idea. No idea whatsoever. Look at this. I think we couldn't have picked a better day to fly with live weather over Lake Como here, guys. Yeah, you can go with clear weather or scattered clouds, but... I mean... The lighting is always second to none. You gotta agree on that. Hey Mark! We are doing splendidly. Um, yeah, I'm having a good time here. It's, um, I mean, we got this scenery, we got Lake Como, we got a floater playing with us, um, got some thunder <laughs> over our heads. It's, uh, it's such a good time. How are you doing? Hey, thank you, Carlos. I appreciate that a lot. I'm just, uh, you know, trying to do my thing here. I love this. Uh... You know, I, I do uh, sim racing as well on the channel. Um, uh, but basically, Flight Simulator is my... Oh, relax. Um, take it slow. laid back and I love to share with you guys and um, getting the response and the feedback that's all I need that's all I need guys thirty thousand for the used one I guess thirty thousand you know what that doesn't sound too bad actually oh <laughs> all right, all right. 
Well, and for a second there, I was wondering if you're joking about y you you bought the brand Cessna or you just bought a 172, which is also possible, you know, hey, no judgment here. I don't know, maybe you're like, um, very rich. <laughs> Mark just downloaded it last night. Yeah, man, it's awesome. So basically, as I'm rolling off some speed here and um, slowly but surely descending, let's uh, let's try if we can land this thing, which makes me want to check one more time if we have something like landing gear that needs to go up. Cabin airflow. If we want to find it, we have to find it quick, I think. <laughs> Let's go with some flaps here and um, let it glide. Still a bit fast though. Th wow. Did you catch that? Right, we need to slowly get rid of some airspeed here. Look at that water lying. Hey, there we go. Wow, whoa. Whoa. All right. Note to self less airspeed. <laughs> less airspeed. <laughs> 2 a.m. in Malaysia. Wow, that's early, my friend. Or late, depending on how you look at it. GMT. That's, um... What is... Wow. Let me calculate that to Central European. ET to GMT plus eight. Complicated. It's complicated. Let's keep it at that. <laughs> well, thank you for the rest in peace. Um, <laughs> That is, uh, yeah, well, swimming with the fishes, that's for sure. Come on, Sim, work your gears. I remember a naive me thinking that if I got a NVMe SSD, the same will load that way faster, but truth of it is, <laughs> it's not spectacular. Alright, we are back. We are back. Let's uh, release this parking brake. Let's see if I have some flaps. Get in some throttle here. Uh, I do, yeah, well, in the sim I fly airliners from time to time and it, it actually has been some while since I have last flown a airliner. Um, basically I haven't even had a chance to fly the the standalone A320NX 
Wow, this side wind, guys. That side wind is crazy. <laughs> yeah, I did flown them. Um, but I, you know, you have to take your time with that. You, you at least gotta fly for like three hours, four hours. Then you have a good flight in. And I did a flight from Athens towards um, uh, India. What was it again? One of the most famous cities. That was a flight of uh, seven to eight hours with the A320. It's fun, you know. It's it's a it's a whole another experience. But mostly, I enjoy flying VFR. Just uh, you know the the type of flights like this, or maybe with a turboprop like the Beechcraft King Air. So let's go straight ahead towards the lake again and um, <laughs> retry what we so desperately feel that. It looks like the weather is um, clearing. looking a lot better so yeah as I was saying um, next flight is going to be over the Alps and um, I was thinking about doing a flight with a flight plan done with the community, with you guys. If you had any special moments um, experiencing when you flew the Alps, maybe some points of interest, maybe some cities I have to check out. I love to work on a flight plan together and we do it here on the channel and fly together or you know Just uh, take a second to appreciate all of this. As I knock down my mixture. <laughs> Definitely is my my moment of peace up here. What about you? So how many flight as a uh, student that you get in? How many flight did you do as a pilot student? I actually hear that a lot from fellow simmers 
fellow light simmers that they are actually pilots in real life. That's really better handed. 190 hours. And for my reference, is that a lot? Is that like if you? I don't know. I'm. Hey, man. You know, I'm. I don't have any experience in this um, in this area. Is that a lot? Is that how many hours would you? usually need before they send you off like here you go here's your buffet here's your license you go right ahead knock yourself out or not maybe that's not the right words of choice but <laughs> hey there princess prince a lot welcome uh if i can go to new york um, and uh, find some towers. Um, well, not particularly in this um, in this stream right now because we are doing a Grand Euro trip, which is oh, I haven't even explained it to you guys. I am flying the whole of Europe. I've started my flight in. November over Iceland going into Scotland um, then flew over to Scandinavia went all the way up north um, over Norway into Russia then came down um, through Moscow St. Petersburg Sochi Turkey and then came into the Mediterranean Greece Croatia and here we are Italy coming up on the and crash into it I don't think that's very uh, respectful man or girl that's not what we do around here I'm sorry about that you're getting 200 hours to become a commercial pilot so you're you're, you are already up there. You are definitely up there. So that's the mountain that we went uh, on our first trip. Let's clear this hillside right here and then um, head over to the lake. But I'm, uh, I'm not going to crash in some towers in New York. Do we have enough air speed with us? Still got some thunder in those clouds. Work says now work. the stuff Looks like there has skipped some followers under my radar and I to give you a little bit of insight I have a small second monitor um, right underneath me right there where I can 
monitor my stream and uh, see OBS, see the chat, but it's um, it's too small for me to actually read the um, the, 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 the alerts, if you will. So whoever hit that follow or hit that subscribe, thank you so much. That definitely helps me helps me out a lot. Keeps us uh, motivated. All right. Again, let's uh, start losing some altitude. These clouds are just phenomenal. Alright, take it easy now. So for anyone who hasn't um, heard of Lake Como, give it a search, um, give it some research, it's phenomenal to, I keep, I keep on using that word phenomenal, but that's, I have no better words to describe it, it's, um, such a beautiful region with a lot of historical buildings a lot of you know it's it's a rich area so you get a lot of castles and um, mansions So, second try, second attempt, and um, gotta be breaking, <laughs> or, I don't know, I hope it is possible. Or at least hit the water with uh, less airspeed. Right now we are sitting at 80 knots. Let's uh, again get some flaps. Maybe um, try to get a bit closer. Because we are all the way in the middle of this lake let's give it a bit more oh we're 
we go. Gentle now. Stall warding. Oh! How hard can it be? I mean... Have you read the manual? No, I haven't. <laughs> no, I have not. That's what I like to do with you guys. Figure things out as we go. We have another one as well. Which I haven't included in the description, but we have a floater X-Cop as well. I think we're gonna give that a go. Do we have some fun liveries with that? No, just the base stock. Right. That is departure. Yeah, that's pretty gnarly. So this, um, where I'm spawning at right now is part of the scenery mod that I've included in the description as well you can fight that one on um, allflightmods.com if you type in Como you will uh, you'll get it there's some upgraded mesh with some points of interest which I hopefully get to demonstrate now here we are we've got a few of them already in our side wait let's see if we have some Ha, lice! Look at those details. That's fun. So this is the creator of the mod, Bush League Legend. They do all these type of versions of the x -Cop. If you're into bush flying, you cannot go wrong. Right. Let's see if we can get this moving. We got a cruise ship, or well, it's not a cruise ship. A super yacht, perhaps. Alright, turn around, baby. Move that tail. Also, gotta appreciate it. Just being on the water here. And I know the closer you get to the ground, the uh, more detail in the. You no, know, in the land that you miss out on, but it's not uh, its not too bad. And the water just looks phenomenal here. Right, let's let's try this. Uh, 
paró. Still gotta figure out how to map my clutch and um, gas pedal. Oh wow! Like a breeze. You see as that. Gotta love the X Cup, guys. It's uh, such a cool. Got great visibility all the way around the cockpit. And look how, how it climbs like. Those lovely villages on the banks of Lake Como here. Right. Be a bit more gentle with that throttle. Yeah, those roads are a bit warped. <laughs> Would love to drive up there. Can you imagine that with the view over the lake? In between these mountains. Right, let's see if we can bank it. This is a little bit heavy. And let's um, head towards the city, city, village. I don't think it's uh, that big. But the actual place, Como, where most of these uh, points of interest are that you get with the scenery mod. take a well at least stabilize this trim <laughs> get some get the markers for the points of interest up on screen so we know what we are talking about right and again, these are all with um, 
the scenery mod that you can download from allflightmods.com first up is here the village of Cernobio with a little harbor there some churches maybe someone from this area or who's ever been here can tell me what this is but this looks like quite a large warehouse of sorts I don't know and right after this hill I'm gonna turn around or maybe I can go in between here that looks like fun that's what I mean with these VFR flights when you're just like ah oh, let's go this way over this soccer field gotta use my rudder for this right here we go well, it's actually a lot bigger than I thought it was, because it's grown into each other. But right ahead is the city. Well, let's go with city. The city of Como. Monumento ai Caduti. If I pronounce that a little bit acceptable. Easy on that throttle here, and maybe I can take a quick peek at this rather large stadium here with the city of Como right here. Phenomenal cathedral right underneath our left wing here. And Castello Baradello. Castello basically means, well, you know what it means, right? House, mansion. Castello Baradello. Italian names. Phenomenal. Tower? I don't know. It's it's a little. Gotta look it up and see what it's actually looks like in real life. Uh, meanwhile, airspeed. How are we doing? Seventy-seven knots. Eighty knots. Let's turn. Uh, let's turn around once more. Gotta land on the water at least for once, guys. Most of these thunderclouds are now moving away from us, which is a good thing. Ready, Faro Fultiano. Two kilometers, twelve o'clock, one minute past twelve. Oh, we made that. Is that a, a lighthouse or something? Yeah, that's not a lot, but it's enough. That's actually pretty nice.
Yeah, the X cup is just perfect for sightseeing and uh, circling around. Keep the airspeed nice and low so you can check out the place. But it's a good climber as well. So whenever you're like, now I'm a bit up, up too high, then you just you know, release the throttle. And circle back down. We're doing right now. Looking into Monumento I Duty. I'm doing my best here. <laughs> Pronouncing Italian names is not my stronghold. My oh, distracted. Those clouds. We're coming up on the golden hour, I guess. Sun is setting, sun is getting low. So is our altitude. <laughs> Look at those uh, winding roads. Via Geno. What we got right here? Villa. Right. Right, 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 right. Zoom a bit out here. some logistical boats as well. Is there a river connected to Lake Como? I wonder. Or is that just for this lake? Sending goods from one place to another. Right, 107, 102, 100 knots. I keep seeing that last message down there and crash into that that's can we get rid of that <laughs> is anyone in there who can say hi or do whatever just make that disappear I don't want to crash into buildings I did enough crashing already and that was on the water so let's get it right please Three times the charm, right? Is what they say. Those lights coming up. Alright, X Cup. Please don't fail me. 60 knots. 59. Breaking, glide, sink, there we go. We did it! Woo! All right. <laughs> I probably did something wrong then. Where are we at? Let's, um, we can just be like a boat now. We can go places you 
spill on the water here. Oh dear. I'm not sure if there are any more villages up ahead. Or if we should just dock on the city of Como, which is on the other side where we came from. Obviously. Obviously. Oop, bumpy. Wave. You'll feel some of that side wind though. Look, you don't think that you're going that fast until you look to your right and you see the water? Never experienced landing on the water, but uh, I can imagine it's being pretty, pretty tough to do so. <laughs> All right. Going up one more time. Splash, splash, splash. There you have it. Just easy peasy. Gonna keep it low now. Fly over here. And basically be in the H135 helicopter and um, achieve the same airspeed as flying the X Cup. So basically what you see here is a uh, stuck sim. So this is just stock scenery. Fine to me. And uh fly all the way through to the other side bum ba da -ba. Can't wait to take this uh, floater X Cup towards Canada or Alaska. And fly through. Well, the lakes that they have up there. Would be cool. I think that's the plan when we finish the Grand Euro trip. Go overseas, catch a long flight from my home country, the Netherlands, all the way into uh, the US. And do north and uh, middle US. America, North America, Middle America, maybe South America. That's going to be a long trip. <laughs> the 
gonna be huge. I don't think it will be long before we start losing daylight and um, as you can tell the city lights are coming up, street lights. <laughs> oh, is this where the... Thunder clouds wind. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Oh yeah, there you go. Yep, there you go. Moving pretty fast though. Yeah, it's not um, your backyard swimming pool. It's definitely a big, big lake. I wanna check out those clouds. We're gonna do it because I can! Can I? Yes, yes, yes! Climb, mix cup, climb! So, for your and mine reference, there you go. That's pretty, pretty big. Still on twenty five hundred feet. Are we do? Yep, twenty six hundred actually. But we're climbing. Slow and steady wins the race.
We got a sunset glow on our left. Got the lighting that ahead. We got snow coming up. Hello, aviator. <laughs> How are you doing? And welcome. It's so good to see you. getting there at the end of Lake Como here is there by any chance a yes there is a small little airport up ahead is that Big enough for us to land at, or she would take it to the water. Look at that. How are you doing, A thirty two X? I hope you're having a wonderful day. And I hope... Watching the streams... Put a smile upon your face, like it does on my seeing this... Beautiful region of the Como Lake. Got the Alps coming up right there. We're, uh, close to getting some sunset. So, where was that little thingy? Oh, it's actually... Huh? 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 What are you telling me? Where is it? Definitely not this way. Oh, that's nice. Just gonna... Clear this line right here. There it is, isn't it? Right on this Hood. If this is not a perfect place to land, then I don't know what is. If there is a 
airstrip. Or we just uh, put her down on the water right here. What do you think? I think for our next flight this is not the perfect place to take off if we want to take off in the in the MB th not the MB339 TBM 930 there you go <laughs> all right oh wow. that's dark and uh, the same line same time my ring light is oh dear Oh. Bowser's. Easy, 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 easy. No, 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 no. That was wet. Oh man. I think we're gonna close that off right here. I mean, does it get better than this? I'm just gonna sit here and meditate for a bit. As I wave you goodbye and thank you for tuning in if you're watching this later be sure to grab the mods from the description and um, come and say hi in the discord we are waiting for more fellow simmers Either it's, you know, if you're a race sim fanatic or a flight sim, um, be very welcome. We love to have you. Anyway, I wish you a very pleasant rest of your day. And uh, thanks again. Take it easy, guys. See you later. Bye-bye now.